Good afternoon and welcome to CC's Kitchen again. Today we're going to be doing some flounder fish. Very simple recipe. So I just wanted to decided to come on and let you see how I fix my flounder since I don't do a whole lot of frying fish. So I'm always doing something different with my fish so that it can still be tasty, healthy, and we can still have a good flavor fish. So I have um, four flounder filet that I have been thawed and patted dry to get all the excess moisture away from the fish, okay? And so what I have, um, I have some herb seasoning that we use sometimes for dressing. Yes, okay. And um, so we're going to use that. And I also have, we're going to do some spinach. I think I'm going to stuff this one. I might do two in the oven. That's what I'm thinking. Two in the oven and two on top of the stove. But we're going to do that. And so what I'm going to do, I have some, um, I have some spinach that I've already kind of chopped up. So I'm going to just put this in my bowl. My hands are very clean. I've washed them. I got to go back to the store and regroup on my gloves. I cannot believe I allow myself to run out. So that's what that is. And I'm going to take a little bit of mozzarella, not very much cheese, but I have mozzarella and Parmesan. So I'm going to add a little bit, um, about one fourth of a cup, not even one fourth of a cup. I'm going to bring it and let you see. So I'm just adding a little bit here in my spinach and I'm going to mix it with my Parmesan. So that was the mozzarella. So I'm going to add a little bit of Parmesan. And I'm just cooking for me so I can use my hands. I don't have any other guests so I feel pretty good about it. But anytime I'm, you know, cooking and somebody else outside of my household is going to be eating, I make sure I use gloves. <laughs> okay, that's 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 a requirement. So we got that, and I'm gonna add a little bit, not much, about a little bit of my bell peppers because I want to save that for something else. So we're gonna put a little bit of bell peppers in there. I learned to love bell peppers because I, they're healthy. And then I have the complete seasoning. I'm going to season that a little bit. Add that to my, um, on the inside of my spinach dip. And I forgot to get my black pepper, so I do want that. And we're also going to add a little bit of pepper to that. And then we're going to toss that around. And just give that a good little stir so to get all mixed up there. And that is good. And I forgot to get my egg because I'm going to do one egg wash. Got to wash it, right? Yes, we do. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to get my egg here and just crack it right there. There you go. So we're going to have to whip that together. But what I need to do, see this yolk in this egg? We don't do the yolk. That's where all the bad fat and cholesterol is. So we generally discard that. So I, one time I use the yolk is when I'm baking a cake or something. But outside of that, we get rid of the yolk. Alrighty. So. And I already have some sweet potatoes in the oven. And I'm going to add a little, two tablespoons of milk to my egg wash. So we're going to mix that with the egg wash. Just two tablespoons. Now I waste a little bit, but that's all right. And that sort of spreads the egg. Get that mixed up really good. Now, I don't know about you when I use egg wash, 
I like to see the my egg water. So that dip my fish in, it has some seasoning to the egg water. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. So I have some smoked paprika. However you like to say yours, but I like paprika. And I'm also going to use a little dash of Obey in here. Just a little dash. And I have some kosher salt. Just a little dash of salt. And I'm going to use some pepper in my egg wash. So when I rub that over my fish, my egg wash should be seasoned. Okay? So what I normally do, if I'm using a wet ingredient, I apply the wet ingredient first to my meat, and then I apply my seasoning. So that's what I'm going to do with my um, fish here. So I'm going to take my fish, and I want to make sure that the outside of my fish gets a part of that egg wash there which is going to be this side. So I want to make sure that that's on there. So that's going to be the outside of the fish. And you'll see why I did that. And then I'm going to flip it back on this side. And I'm going to add some Obey seasoning to it. There. And a little bit of Paprika, not much because I want to add some more on the outside. And I was looking, oh yeah. And then I have some turkey bacon. Oops, I did say turkey bacon, so I'm going to pull out um, two slices. Because guess what I'm going to do? I think that's all we need there. And so I'm going to take my turkey bacon. And I'm just going to lay it here on top of that fish. And I need to get a little bit of, you know, a lot of people like to stuff their fish with cream cheese. So because I don't like to use the cream cheese, um, I just normally use a little bit of a tablespoon of mayonnaise. And I'm doing two tablespoons of mayonnaise. And just sort of stir it. To give it that creamy. That's a little better than doing the cream cheese. So you just want to, you know, use that just to form a little base. See, just to form a little base, a little creamy. And that's enough. That is enough. Sometimes I even use a little ranch. <laughs> Anything to keep me from using that cream cheese. So now we have that. And so what I'm going to do, I have some asparagus. I'm going to lay that in here. I'm just going to put like two pieces or three. I think I'm going to do three. Put three of those in there. And I'm going to get my spinach. You know, and sometimes if you wanted to add, I've done this before. And I've... Um, chopped up shrimp. I've chopped up um, crab, lump crab meat. Oh, it's really, I have to share that one. I think, I, I think I've done that before with my first, my very first one. And, and that's it. So I'm going to take this and we're just going to roll it together. And you have to really make sure that you push your ingredients down in the fish in the back of it so it'll stay. And see, and then that's what we have. Now, you might be wondering, so I take my little egg wash here and put over the fish like that. Remember, we've done that before. And then, where is my oil? This is olive oil. And I'm just going to add a little bit to this dish. Just there. And I want to take my wash here, and I'm going to dip it in the oil, too, and dip this over here. And then what we're going to do, 
with our um, our um, let's top this a little bit here, and that's what we're going to have there. And this is what you will have with that fish, and then that's what's going into the oven. Yep, there we go. So I've used that, if I, I can even take it and roll it a little bit to keep it there, and I can roll it to get even more on it. I take my stuff because it did come open. Now we're going to do the next one. And that's that one that's going in the oven. And I'm going to bring you back when we do the second one. Okay, so we've gotten them both stuffed and rolled. And we're going to spray our baking pan with some olive oil spray like I just did. And then we can put our fish in our dish. I'm just going to slide it up with my spatula and place it in our baking dish. And I'm even getting some of the crust from the herb stuffing. Just place it over there. save the oil for later and that's going in the oven on 400 I had it preheating at 375 but we're going to do 400 when we bake it so that's good and so that's going to take care of that and then what we're going to do with this pan with my other fish over here Preheat this pan and get that heated up. Move these dishes because we won't need that anymore. Oh, uh, where's our? We're going to do a little cleaning because I did make a little mess. So let's sort of clean this up. Because for this other fish, we're going to make something a little different. We're going to kind of do a little frying of this one in, in this pan here with a little butter first. So we're going to melt this little butter in our pan here. With this little bit of oil that we have. That's why we're going to use that with some unsalted butter and olive oil here to get this pan going. So we're going to mix that and then we're going to season our fish here. I'm not using any meal or anything. We're just going to season this fish with some seafood seasoning on both sides because we are going to eat both sides, right? I thought so. We're going to eat both sides. So let's season both sides. <laughs> My mama was teaching me how to cook. And I'm like, why we got to do both sides? Can I just do one side? And so that's why I always say, are we going to eat both sides? Yes. So that's why we do that. Because that's what she told me. And a little salt on this one. And a little um, pepper. Then we're going to take uh, a little bit of lemon and sort of squeeze it on the fish. Right? What's fish without lemon? Got to have a little lemon. And we'll let this get going. I got a little lemon 
and see you there. We can move that out the way. I'm gonna put our milk back. Our almond milk. I don't buy regular milk. I buy almond milk all the time. That's all we drink. That is it. Almond milk. It's getting hot. It's getting there. It is getting there. I always like to turn this with the face down to keep it close. See that? Don't hear that sizzling like you want to hear it. <laughs> I think I'm going to do a little salt. A little salt. I'm trying to live without it, so. Let that brown a little bit. And then while that's browning, we're going to come back and let you see. We're going to let that brown for about 10 minutes and I'll bring you back. Okay, we're going to take our fish out. It's only been about five minutes, guys, but we're going to set that aside. And I'm going to turn my oven down to medium high. Not my oven, but my stove top. And we're going to add um, our bear peppers that we have to that. that little brownness in this pan. And here is my tablespoon of mixed garlic. Since I'm not using fresh garlic today, I just add that in there to get that stirred. And here we go. We're going to do a handful of finish. enough for what I want to do. Can 
got this now simmering. That's all we need. And so what I'm going to add to that. <laughs> yes, oh my goodness. This is, you, know, you can stop right here. Because this is just like a good little gravy. That's going to go like on the top of that fish. That's, oh yes, that's cooking really great. So we can drizzle that. So what I'm going to do, these other two pieces of fish is going in here. So we're just going to kind of let that simmer down. And then I'm going to also take the leftover one that I had and add that. And that's all it's going to do. That's why I saved a little bit just for that topping for my fish. Because see, the cheese in there will thicken up your sauce. Now, if you want to add a little bit more, you can. And then I'm going to take the fish that I have. And that's going to be just a little piece. Oh, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> that's good. See that fish is going in there? I'm sort of breaking up the fish because that's our cream sauce. So we want to drizzle that with our other fish. So that's what I'm doing. So that's what I call my flounder frit, frit, fish. Flounder fish cream sauce. And oh, 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 oh. I got to bring you a little closer to let you see how this is looking. Now, sometimes I take this um, fish and cream sauce like this, and when we have a baked potato, that's what goes inside my baked potato. Mm, you're talking about a dish. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, I want to, yeah, I can't pick that up. I'm gonna bring you a little closer. Let's get you closer in here so you can see that. Mm. Yeah, see how that's sizzling? Doesn't that look delicious? <laughs> yes, it does. Now you can add shrimp to this if you want to, but it just makes a nice um, dish um, with fish. I love this and I love to do it with my baked potatoes if I have it. And you see I have some sitting right here, but these are sweet baked potatoes. And this is really finished. That sauce is just, I'm, and I'm going to cover it right there. Let that be. And so while we're waiting on my fish in the oven to get ready, because it's almost there. I had 25 minutes. I got 18 minutes left. Um, and I'm cooking it on 400, so we'll see. So while that is waiting, guess what? I can clean up the rest of this, and y'all don't need to see me do that. So we'll be back, okay? Stay tuned. It's going to be great. So we have 11 minutes left on the timer. So what I have done is I cancel the bacon, and I have it on broil on low for the brownie. So we're going to bring you back. And I, let me let you see how it looks first. How it's looking so it's technically it's really already done look at that see you see that crust on top of that fish mm. so we're going to put it in here but I'm gonna have to watch it because um, we don't want it to burn since it's on raw so that's only going to take about two or three minutes so we're going to keep an eye on it and I'm going to bring you back Okay, now let's check this out. I have a little bit of mel melted margarine, not margarine, but unsalted butter. And we're just going to drizzle here for the last little minute that we want to leave it in on broil. It's going to be the last minute because it's already cooking good. So I'm going to slip that back in there and we're going to. Let it cook that one last minute, and then we're going to be ready. I wanted you guys to see 
these plates. So I'm going to take our sauce here and we're going to drizzle a little bit over that fish. So we get the real and we're going to put some over there like that. And I like to put mine This is mine, so we'll let him decide how he wants his. But look at that meal. Does that not look delicious or what? Oh my God, I cannot wait. So that's my um, rendition of fish. And look at that salad. So is this not a healthy meal? Huh. I think so. I guess I gotta let you take do a taste test, right? We're gonna get that. So stay with us. Okay. Mm. We're doing a live taste test, guys. And I'm letting him. You wanna taste mine before you add some? No, I didn't taste it. It tastes this is delicious. But I got my saucy mines. I didn't put it in yours because I didn't know whether or not you wanted it. So taste that in mine and then decide whether or not you want that in yours. Mm, that's good. Ooh. Yep, I think I'm with the sauce in mine. <laughs> you want sauce in yours? It is delicious, guys. Oh, it's mm. delicious. Yeah, we live. We're doing a live taste test. Let me get you some sauce. I didn't know we was live. <laughs> she loved to catch me off guard, but this is delicious, I'm telling you. So now that you taste, mm. taste the sauce, there you go. This is good. It's better than you. What you say? Mm. <laughs> Oh, have mercy. Mm -hmm. I can imagine with Thanksgiving and Christmas, especially Christmas, when our children come home, she likes to show out. Yes. This is the bomb. Mm. Oh, my God. Mmm. And then putting it in the sweet potato adds a little sweetness to it. And I'm eating the baked fish. I, I may not even need the salad. <laughs> I don't need the salad. But we're going to eat that salad. Oh, mm. that fish. And that turkey bacon. It's good. Mm. <laughs> You all, this is a Wednesday evening dinner. A this Wednesday? Is a election dinner. <laughs> after we done worked all day. <laughs> and after I'm hurt. My head is hurting because I had a little injury and I feel cloudy, but I press my way. And this is delicious. So, y'all got to give it a try. And we'll be back from CC's Kitchen with more delicious recipes so you can keep eating healthy. It's working for me. It's working for him. And guess what? It'll work for you. We'll be back. Stay tuned.